Hey guys, so the big thing in the market today is the hack of wormhole where a hacker was able to acquire 120,000 ETH through an exploit in the network. So I'm gonna talk about the specifics of it and what it means for you and how you can protect yourself as well. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So what exactly happened with this hack? Well, if you go to at wormhole crypto, their Twitter, you can see here, the wormhole network was exploited for 120,000 wrapped ETH. ETH will be added over the next hours to ensure wrapped ETH is backed one to one. More details to come shortly. We are working to get the network back up quickly. Thanks for your patience. So. Let's go over a news article and it talks about the specifics of what exactly happened. So first of all, 120,000 ETH is over $320 million. It's one of the biggest hacks in crypto to date. Okay, now it talks about what Wormhole is. It's basically a bridge protocol that enables assets to move across various blockchain protocols. When a user sends assets from one chain to another, the bridge locks the assets and mints a wrapped version of the funds on the destination chain. Okay, now I'm going to see say why this is important for wrapped ether and about protecting yourself in a bit. But basically, that's what Wormhole is. You go to the website, you can see all the different platforms you can use, and there's an introduction exactly what the specifics of Wormhole are. But it says it's not clear yet how the attacker executed the exploit, but it resulted in the theft of 120,000 ETH. Now, Ether transaction records detail of the theft of 93,000 of the exploited Ethereum. This is one of the largest exploits in the finance protocol DeFi to date. And basically, again, Wormhole stated that they'd be buying ETH to back the wrapped ETH one to one, which is good. Okay, that created a nice little bounce in Ethereum when they announced that. Right, so that was good for the network as well. Now they did say we're working to get the network back up quickly. An address associated with wormhole deployers sent an on-chain message offering the attacker a white hat agreement with a bug bounty of $10 million for the details of the exploit and return of the wrapped ETH minted in the attack. So there's actually, you can see here the, the message and it says, we noticed you were able to exploit the Solana VAA verification and mint tokens. We'd like to offer you a white hat agreement and present you a bug bounty of $10 million for exploit details and returning the wrapped ETH you have minted. You can reach out to us and contact us at contact at certus.one. So again, if the hacker is going to accept their agreement, who knows? I mean, $10 million versus $320 million. But the big caveat to this, why I think it would be in the hacker's advantage to do so, is because due to the Bitfinex hacks and a lot of hacks in the past, he's going to have a hard, he or she is going to have a hard time getting this $320 million out, right? Because it is blacklisted on a lot of exchanges. Anyone who hacks anything knows that the wallet immediately gets blacklisted and that unless you withdraw it immediately, it's very hard to get it out. Now you can imagine he's gonna to try to tornado cash it. They're gonna to try to do whatever they can, but again, it's gonna be hard and they're always gonna be looking over their shoulders. So accepting this white hat agreement could be in their benefit to do so. So some more things I wanna talk about is that wrapped ether, right? So it said here, one of the guys tweeted, if I understand correctly, you do not want to be holding wrapped ETH on Solana as all of it was backed by wrapped ETH and wormhole is gone. So basically if you go to Mango Markets, they have wrapped ETH and you can see there is a huge sell off when this announcement happened. So ETH was at 2720 and it dropped all the way down to 2465. Now this was because a lot of people withdrew their wrapped ETH. They swapped it for regular ETH or they swapped it for another coin, which was actually backed. Now you can see on the regular Ethereum that that only went down to 2613, okay? So really there's the big difference because people were taking out the wrapped ETH instead of Ethereum. But again, saying that Wormhole is actually going to buy the ETH one-to-one -one for backing all that wrapped ETH. Again, that's why ETH, you can see, bounced all the way back up to 2688. Now it's pegged even higher than the regular Ethereum. So again, I still say, since this hack is exploited right now, I will say it's best not to have wrapped Ethereum. Um, again, good on Wormhole for actually purchasing the ETH and getting that one-to-one -one backing right now. But again, always be careful. Uh, because you never know, you know, when this could be hacked again, or if there's another exploit with that. So right now, um, I don't hold any wrapped Ethereum at the moment, kind of covering my bases there. But again, there are a lot of backings. I know people were talking about Alameda, FTX, um, you know, a lot of people backing um, that wrapped Ether in case it doesn't work out. So definitely something to keep in mind there. But it is crazy to see that, you know, no matter how big someone is, their network can still be hacked. And even if it's DeFi, right? So always be careful. Um, I hope this sheds some light and I hope it kind of, you know, opened your mind of what's possible through hacking and everything and never be too comfortable in any one chain, any one protocol or bridge because, you know, anytime it could be hacked. So always diversify your assets. That's my biggest, biggest um, push right now for y'all. So 
If y'all had any questions, um, please go and leave them in the comments below. I'm definitely going to be monitoring Wormhole's Twitter and a lot of other Twitter accounts who are talking about this um, to see, you know, if there's resolution, how the hack happened, and how it can be protected in the future. Um, but please give the video a like if you liked it. Comment if you have any questions. Uh, join my Discord if you haven't. It's free. It's in the description and pinned in the comments as well. So until next time, thanks for watching.